it up upside down, and here's Mr. I'm not good at video games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> video games that I don't get along. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. He was, hey, you know hey, what he, he was pl- doing. He played the game well. I've never done that before. Um, I'm telling you right now, I got lucky. Yeah. You, you know what luck is for him? He went down here to the, the Target here in the mall. Got one of them steering wheel things and hooked no, it up sir. to this fancy laptop. I bet if we went on this laptop he's got, we'd find s- a simulator. We'd find a simulator. You're on there. welcome. Yeah. Not, not your. I promise you won't. <laughs> but sometimes, hey, it. when it's your day, it's your day. I mean, yeah, you did a great job. Yeah. Hey. Trevor Bain won the Daytona 500. Where's he at now? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not. You're not he's going a, back there, are you? He's a NASCAR driver. You ever heard of him? Yeah, I have. <laughs> I'm just. I'm sitting here in shock, going. Corey referencing. NASCAR and Daytona 500. Uh, well, there's a little derogatory in that, I think, but but that's no, okay. No, I'm just saying. I pulled a rabbit out of the hat and lapped you and won the money. I mean, <laughs> it happens. Hey, but you know what? I, I will say that. Aren't you glad you're racing me and that I didn't sit here and go, "Hey, Corey, I'm going to put you in the wall." <laughs> he tried to. I know he did. I saw it <laughs> in the interview on the open at the green flag. <laughs> he did. <laughs> He did. He tried it. He tried to put me in the wall. I, did, I didn't think it would be that disastrous, really. I, I wasn't trying to destroy everybody. <laughs> you missed me. That, you know, what? Well, that was a fun time, though. That was and awesome. I, as we got done, you know, I thought I had some pretty smooth laps and got done and looked at my time. My best time was a 16-3-4, and I thought to myself, how did those guys get into 15-8s? I yeah. mean, you can't bobble at all on that simulator. No. You can't. And it's sprint cars. Yeah. I mean, it's... And and I think we touched on this in the last show about simulators and, and the kids coming up in NASCAR and, and other types of racing. Mm-hmm. You know, they're they're all learning basically on simulators. They are. And they are and that tells a lot, just even on that old program, you know, but how much a simulator can affect I didn't realize how old that program was until you guys brought that up. Was it it's a on a It's on Windows ninety eight, yeah. 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 It was I mean it's the kick in the pants. That's but almost as old as Joel's laptop. <clears throat> Almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we do, we're just giving him a hard time. Here's He's what's got cool about nice that simulator. Here. Here's what's cool about that simulator. <clears throat> it kind of freaked me out the first time because when I passed Warren the first time, he was down on the bottom, and I went around him on the top, and that speaker right by your ear on the inside lights up, and you can hear it. And then when you pass somebody down low, it, it lights up on the other side, and it, it's right in your ear. It's like the car is like right there next to you. It, it's pretty weird. See, here's the problem. You guys had speakers. <clears throat> I didn't. Oh. I couldn't yeah, I, hear anything. We saw you drive at this point using a speaker as an excuse isn't going to make a difference, Joel. Do you know Greg Biffle? <laughs> <laughs> really? Are we are we going to do this right now? Oh, God. So, uh, so, that was awesome. That was awesome. That was well played, Warren. <laughs> so your your project we're talking about with Moxie that we, we were talking about the car show, how's that coming along? Oh, it, it's coming great. You know, is it? We're making a lot of forward progress on it. And yeah. It's, it's going to be ready for the car show, and I, I can't wait for... Uh, I can't wait either, because I'm can't. watching the progress, and I'm, I'm impressed. I'm I pretty excited about it, what's going to happen. It's really coming together. Yes, it, it is. It really is. <clears throat> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny look, that we... Look at Joel's corner over here. <laughs> talking about his shop. <laughs> Dude, okay. Time. You, you can literally eat out the floor over there where uh, yeah. Joel's at, because there's food on it. Yeah. Anyway... I'm excited about this project you're, that you're spearheading here for Moxie and what's happening. And what, I mean, it's going to be a cool deal. Yeah, People have been listening to us talk about this for a few months now. When they see the end result and they understand what we've been talking about, I think they're going to have fun with it, too. And you know what the best part is? You know, and this is the thing, is we always sit here on Northwest Dirt News and with, with the Moxie Facebook page, and we always sit there and just give little hints and little teasers and little things, and everybody's sitting here going, what are they talking about? Are they nuts? Yes. Oh, well, that's an obvious. We are, too. We are, yeah. too. I think yep. Planner's Peanut is your uncle, but that's another story for another day. But anyways, people are going to wow. walk into the show, and they're going to be His name like, is Salty. That's okay. his name. Uncle Salty. People are going to walk into the show, and they're going to sit there and go, ah, that's what they were talking about. It's going to be one of those things that I don't think you're going to be able to miss. No, you will not miss that. No. <clears throat> Not no, you won't. Uh, I just got a text message here, and I'm impressed. This you want to talk about a good looking race car? Gray Ferrando just sent us a picture of his car. Let's see it. What? Ooh, yeah, that's pretty sexy. 
you know, and and also we haven't talked about his his daughter winning the uh, valve cover races. She did. Well, she can't. She tied. It was a tie. Yeah, it was right well, now. Well, we, let's back up a second here. We <laughs> we had three shows out there, three real contests, and we had the sprint car simulators we've already talked about. Right. We had that other sprint car simulator bet that we talked about. Right. But what about the kids? You know, that was probably the funnest thing we had all day. Because, that was. That you was. know, and here's why I say this, and this is this is, this is is what cracks me up about it, was men, grown men, are showing up with custom valve covers with wedge bodies and, you know, thin little tires to go fast and all dialed in, ready to go. we got Four the weights. square tube underneath yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chassis, <laughs> chassis valve covers, right? Yeah. And that wasn't a beat. chassis. That was a lead weight valve cover. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I caught one of those with my foot. Yeah, the first one, the very first one. Yeah, you didn't, did you, did I you noticed see that? you didn't do that again. Did you see what happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I looked ended like up it broke your toe. My butt. Right. So he, yeah. <laughs> I think it scuffed my boots. Too. And in the, in, the, in the end, in the end, it's two little girls that are what six and four racing for the championship. That was awesome. Yeah. That was so I mean, cute. And and the, what I, I now this was cool. This was cool because I did not know that I mean, this wasn't something we talked about. It was just something that Joel gets out his phone. Stands at the start finish line and puts slow mo as the cars come rolling by. And that first race, you could not tell who won that. I mean, I, I literally was, sat there. Really I, remember, I remember Corey sitting there and he looks at me and goes, Who won that? And I remember going, oh, oh. <laughs> He says, I don't know. He says, You look at the instant replay. And I'm thinking, Instant replay? I didn't even yeah. know he was filming it. I walked over there and we just kind of stood there like, um, Well, you. We're gonna run this one again, and Warren, and we posted it on Moxie. Right, so y'all go back there and see it. It was it literally. We sat there and we're like, now, now, if we didn't have the slow mo and you had to call that in real time, there's no way I would have gone to the transponders. There was, I mean, <laughs> I there was no absolutely no way that literally that was a speed week finish from last yeah from last year yeah or no no year before 20, Stanford. 2015. The, the fact of the matter is the kids had a great time. They did. Oh. You know, and the, it, well, those two little girls won 20 bucks each. They won a remote control robot, right. big, huge bags of popcorn. Steve, uh, well, Steve's Steve, the one that put up the money. Steve put yeah. up the 20. And Left Coast Motorsports gave them each a shirt. I mean, how yeah, cool was they, that? Yeah, they came out good. They did. <clears throat> it was it That was, was a highlight of the day for me. I, you know, That was fun. And the, the smiles when, on the When on, kids are having fun like that. On Madison that. Peyton's faces, I was just sitting yeah. there going, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah, they had a good time, and that was definitely fun to watch. And and Warren kind of the turnout from the valve covers. We had we had some good looking valve covers. There was some pretty yeah. cool creations. I mean, the the valve covers out of Hilltop Racing. I mean, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I, you know, I was surprised Warren let them slide through Tech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see what did Tech involve. Uh, okay, yep, looks good. Yep, <laughs> is it a valve cover? Right yep. Hey, there, is there a valve? Yep. But then you had that one, and then you had. Um, that one, and I didn't catch the little girl's name, the purple valve cover. Yes. Those were not decals. No, that was painted. That was painted. She had a little painted and very <clears throat> intricate very, Tinkerbell. Very, Painted on this purple sparkly, it almost like plum crazy purple with glitter in mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Valve cover. It was it was definitely, out of all the years I've been helping with the Mild to Wild, it was the most creative I've seen anybody get with, with their valve covers. It was an awesome deal. And, and yeah. I'm not a plum crazy purple <clears throat> kind of person. But that valve cover was was cool. Yeah, <laughs> I think was, I was sitting there going, and the guy comes up to me and goes, "Hey, um, do you mind if I catch this?" And I go, "No, not at all." But why? It's a valve cover. And he goes, "That's all hand painted." Thirty two hundred dollar paint job in that valve. Yeah. Cover. And I sat there and I looked at him. I go, "It's all you, bro. Yeah. It's all you." Take it outside in the sunlight and it changes color. Right. It was yeah. it yeah. was beautiful. It was. There it, was some. Ni- they were all nice looking. I mean, so you shoot. know you know what that means now. We it's got gonna, we got about fifty weeks to get our valve covers ready for the next Moxie tour. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. I think maybe next year we ought to have a television monitor up there that we can. I think replay the slow mo <laughs> in, you know, and and uh, well, that's, that's a great close idea. Races. If the competition is going to be that tight, we're going to have to. Yeah, that yeah. was crazy. That was, that was definitely parents crazy. rooting for the kids <clears throat> and everything. I mean, I'm glad there weren't any dad fights or anything. You know, it was all pretty. Uh, Pleasant. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we almost had, things got a little rowdy there at the Mile of the Wild. And we had to go outside and, and uh, we had to ask some people to exit off the property. One idiot in a semi truck out there turning cookies. And, he and, unhooked his trailer right? just so he could go out there in the tractor and spin donuts. Right. And I'll tell you what, that's the first time I've ever seen a semi truck cut a cookie. 
Oh, he cut about 300 of them. Yeah. He was out there for an hour. Before, I, I, was before, rooting, I was rooting for him to hit the pole. And we all, hit the pole, hit the pole. <laughs> well, and then the other monkeys that were out there in the big four-wheel drive trucks right. that have probably never been off-road ever. They, they were they were pavement princesses. Yeah, they were. Yeah. And they were out there sliding around. I was pretty sure that guy wasn't getting to that Buick that was parked out there. Oh, I was, thought for sure he's going to hit that thing. And yeah. Steve went out there, and I've known Steve a long time. That, that You know what? That's I can say that's probably the third time in all the years I've known Steve, I've seen him mad. Now, when Steve gets mad, you look at Steve already, he's built like a square. Okay? Yeah. I, I wouldn't say square. I'd say fire hydrant. Okay. Call it what you want. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> But when we got out there in the snow, I kind of got a little pumped up because Steve's walking out there, and you watch Steve walk out, and his chest got bigger. He got a little taller, and he was walking out. He was, he was ready to go. I mean, he was, he was ready. He was like, <laughs> he used some colorful language to make sure that they, they got off the property. He, and but he, he was very polite when he talked. He about was him. very cordial in how he used those words, and it was uh, it was fun. Well, it's a liability know? on him. I, it, I, well, yeah. you know, I, we don't need stuff like that. It shows where we're at because it. it can ruin it for everybody, you know, yeah. and Steve, had, he handled business, and he did a great job doing it, and Everybody got off the property, and away they went, and the show carried on. But I saw a few uh, friends that I know <clears throat> rolling there after we'd actually closed, and uh, I knew on Facebook that they were going to be there, Doug and Scott Mitchell, you know. And, right. And they uh, they came in, and everybody's folding up. And they're like, what's going on? You know? Well, because of safety, we, wanted, right, we had to right. let people go early. It was a terrible <laughs> weather day. It was horrible, you That's know, and good. I feel bad for Steve, that, who works on that for so long, to have that happen. But, um, but it went off pretty well. Oh, That's actually, the for, thing. Considering. That's, right. Yeah. Everybody showed up. I mean, I had one of my coworkers, he came up from the Harrisburg area, and he's sitting there, and he, I was the first person he saw when he walked in. He goes, dude, we were on ice the whole way up from Harrisburg. Yeah. I-5 oh, okay. was at one point shut down during that show. Yeah. I mean, it was shut and, down. And James turns to me, and he goes, How'd you make it up here? Left my house at six thirty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and he's sitting there. He goes, "Why didn't you call me?" And I go, "I didn't know you were coming, bro." Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was uh, pretty good. But you know, Steve made the right call and and letting everybody go an hour early. And I and, agree. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, next year we'll just be bigger and better. But here's the thing: this is what I did notice about the Mile to Wild this year. Mm-hmm. Being cut off an hour short two. for two hours. For people to sell, I think, and I'm not kidding you when I say this. I saw more stuff sold this year than I think have in the prior three years, three really? or four years. I yeah. think this is the first year. There I've was a seen, lot of people buying stuff. I think this is the first year <clears throat> I've seen a, a car be sold. Yeah, complete. Right, a complete roller was sold. Yep. I mean, you know, uh, well, there was that was that motor there. That, that was a, that oh was a heck Lord. of a deal. Did that? One guy buy that? I or do don't you know? know. He was wheeling and dealing. Sonny Modoff was wheeling and dealing, right, trying right. to get that deal done. But um, not sure if that was a a purchase or not. But what a what a! Well, I mean, that was Doug Davenport's engine. I That's know. right. Yeah, but, it was and Doug's for the price he's asking. For, well, I mean, he's giving that thing away. Did you know what it is? Yeah. Did, That's, you, did you understand what that was? Oh yeah, yeah. That's bad to the bone. Is what it is. I mean, and for what was he asking? Seven seventy five hundred bucks. Seventy five, I think. You can't go. That's Trust a great me, buy. I'm still trying to find money. <clears throat> To buy yeah. that, because I'll tell you what, that's... You'll park your car in Victory Lane. I, I, so anyway, I, I, I wouldn't go went. that far. I wouldn't go that far. I, uh, yeah. I, I would not go that far and say you'll park your car in Victory Lane. I'm telling you, that, that, that's that got the power to do it. It's got the power to do it, but can you control that power on these racing surfaces that sure we have out here? Sure. It's all I right could. foot. It's all right foot. Yep. <clears throat> this is Scott what break? And, that's, and that's what Scott Bloomquist told David Hawks. <laughs> he said, you got to come out and run Willamette. He goes, it's not like the rest. Of it. It's super dry, slick. And Scott Bloomquist looks at David Hawks and says, it's all right foot. <laughs> Dave says, no, no. This is when he's back buying his warrior in Tennessee. He says, no, Scott, you don't understand. This, like, this place is like super slick. And he says, it's all right foot. And Dave says, well, I guess my right foot doesn't have the experience your right foot has. <laughs> 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 that's what he said. But, uh, yeah. It, it's all about throttle control. <clears throat> it really is. And when you get out on these surfaces with these tires, you got to do it. Right. So what, What's Mike saying down there? He's talking about having valve cover races at the Bud Nationals. You know? Moxie Mike. Moxie Mike. Yeah. You know, he's always up to something. You got to watch that guy. He's slippery. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know that guy. Yeah, don't leave your phone on the table either. <laughs> <laughs> He'll take a bunch of pictures for you. Yeah, he will too. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Yeah. Warren uh, left his phone in the announcer's booth. Wasn't on the no. no it was at the it was restaurant. At the restaurant. Yeah. The restaurant and and uh, Mike, Mike just kind of happened to pick it up and it wasn't locked. And when Warren got no, back, you can do the camera on an iPhone. 
when it's locked. Well, there was a lot of pictures when Warren.